even going back to when we did Casino Royale with Daniel, Daniel performed so much of his own stunts on that film and worked so hard and, and took the knocks along the way, along with us as, as a stunt department. You know, working under Gary Powell, who was coordinating at the time, and working with Martin Campbell, that's kind of set the standard for these Bond films for Daniel, where you know that it, 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 there's a high risk because it is, you know, you're going to do it for real, although we'll break it down and we'll prep it as safely and uh, as smartly as possible. End of the day, someone, when they, actually, when they call action, that's a real person jumping off of the cranes or crashing the car or jumping the motorcycle or driving the boat. And in, in Daniel as well, being at number ones with Daniel when he's running across the top of the cranes, when he's in the boat or he's in the car, it's all happening for real, which is far more rewarding as a stunt coordinator and a stuntman rather than working in an environment which is just a green screen environment where you're working just you know on mocap suits or you know you're in trying to interact with things that aren't real you are interacting with a real car a real truck is coming towards you a real boat is speeding beside you you know guys are flying past you it just brings the whole it's happening for real those stunts are really happening and you're you're right in the middle of it as soon as Lashana started with us every day straight in into we, we used to call it shed 32 which is where we had our fight training we had our gym and a lot of the guys, we'd go in there and concept a lot of the action. Olivier and me would sit down and just, you know, throw notes around everywhere. And, and then Lashana would be training in the corner. So you pop in and always keep an eye on what she was doing. Working non-stop the whole time. If she wasn't stretching or conditioning, she'd be have a, a pistol in her hand. Or she'd have a rifle. And constantly just working on all the things that we knew that were going to be coming her way. So, again, putting her in a harness. Getting her at comfortable height and wire work. Absolutely, again... Brilliant, you know, and loved every minute of it. Was, you know, bouncing through the door every morning. Let's go, what are we doing? Where's my gun? You know, that, that is what you need when you're working, you know, as a lead on a Bond film, especially when her, her character is going to have such a physical role. She was, yeah, absolutely brilliant. I've done the last five with, with Michael and Barbara. And you become like family. You know, you spend 12, 15 months together. And... More so than working with any other producers um, or working for any other franchise, you genuinely want to achieve the best you can because every time you see each other in the morning or you're saying goodnight on rap, you just get to know each other so well and you know when people are happy, you know when people are disappointed or you know when people are stressed. And, and there is a, a lot of that, you know, it's, a, it's such an intense period shooting a Bond film that you, you become like family and you're looked after like family, you know. Barbara would walk around and, and just check on all departments, you know, walk around having a cup of tea, how are you doing? Not just talking about how you're doing at work or how you're doing, uh, you know, that day, you know, generally checking in to see how you're all doing because it is so intense. Same for Michael. Michael has been great because Michael just, he'll, he'll very, very quietly just walk, walk his way through set. He'll watch what's going on. And he'll see people under, he'll see a department under pressure and he'll come up and he'll give you a nod and, and, and give you a well done or check you're all right. And, uh, and that means the world to the crew, to be honest. And that's why everybody loves working for them.